on arrival at your site, is the signage adequate to locate your business? Think about what you would be looking for if you were an employee. Is the car parking marked with designated parking for staff or a special parking? For example, reverse parking only. A customer or visitor. Is there designated parking? Is it clearly marked, including handicapped parking? These can be signs and or stencils. A delivery driver. Is it clearly signed where you need to go with regard to dispatch receiving and arrows to indicate the direction along the way to the parking? Once you have parked your car or truck, is it easy to see where you need to report into? Is there a reception or office sign or driver exclusion zone? Are there instructions about entering the building? For example, please ring for assistance or visitors must sign in. When you have completed this, it is time again to go back to the front of the building. You need to ask if there are any hazardous chemicals on site. If there are, at all vehicular entrances to the site, there needs to be an H284M HASCHEM sign in all other states than Queensland and an H290M in Queensland. Then on all entrances to the building where the dangerous goods are stored, there needs to be the diamonds that represent the products. If there are multiple diamonds, you would use the HASCHEM composite sign that can fit four diamonds. The reason for this labelling is that when the fire brigade or police arrive to the site in an emergency, they clearly can see that there is HASCHEM on site and which entrances to the building lead to the goods. We also sell dangerous goods cabinets and spill kits. An emergency information container is also great to have located at the front of a building. It has a special number three lock that the fire brigade can unlock and has information such as MSDS, site map relevant site information. Also at the front of the site is usually where you would have your emergency assembly area. Check to see that it is clearly marked and ask where it is. It needs to be 10 metres from the main building. When you are ready to move through the building, on all the doors you go through into a new area, if they lead out into a warehouse or forklift area, or if they require PPE, personal protective equipment, you need to advise with a sign as your duty of care to all people on site. Are the toilets clearly marked? Where is the lunchroom? And does it have a sign? Lunchrooms usually have a boiler and this needs to be marked hot surface. It's also an ideal spot for safety posters. Housekeeping signs can be used to let staff know to wash their own dishes and some first aid kits are kept here. We have various sizes to suit most businesses. Do you need temporary cleaning signage? This might be in the form of easy to move A-frame to advise of wet floors when they are being cleaned. Do you have a recycling program? Are these areas all clearly marked too so staff can place the correct items in the right areas? Some rooms have two entrances, so make sure they are both marked. It sometimes seems like overkill, but if you look at it from the point of view of someone new to the site, you make it so much easier for them to be self-sufficient and reduce the amount of time they have to ask someone or waste time trying to figure it out. MSDS should be clearly marked and kept in a folder somewhere central to the materials being used, and a master copy of all MSDS should be kept in the office in case of an emergency. While moving around the site, it's a good idea to ask where the first aid kits are, especially if you have seen no signs. The size and the layout of the site will depend on how many first aid kits are required. Basically, you want to be able to access a first aid kit quickly and easily from any location on site. Most importantly, everyone should know where they are. The same applies for safety showers and eye wash units and first aid posters. In a warehouse area, it is important to keep pedestrians and forklifts separated where possible. Physical barriers are the best, or designate walkways with signs to indicate pedestrians to keep to marked walkways, forklifts in use, floor stencils to clearly show designated areas using footprints. Procedures such as sounding horns when entering areas are also good. Convex mirrors are essential for good traffic flow and where direct sight is restricted. Forklift areas need to have speed signs, battery charging areas if appropriate, forklift safety check signs, forklift log books, seat belts must be worn, and so on. Danger signs on a site indicate that you could be killed if you are not careful. The best example of this is compressed air. 
The sign says beware of serious injury or death. Warning signs are required in instances where non-compliance may result in injury. Beware of opening doors. There are always situations with a door that opens onto a walkway. Stand behind marked lines when wrapping machine is in operation. Pinch points on equipment need to be identified. Any areas where you need to watch your step. Anti-slip tapes, signs and panels are ideal. PPE signs need to be at the entrance to areas where the protective equipment must be worn. Sometimes this can be from when you enter a site. Other times it is only in certain areas. In most cases, the equipment must be supplied by the employer, not only to staff but visitors as well. Prohibition signs depict actions and activities that are not permitted on site. The most common are no entry, authorized persons only. In this case, there also needs to be a physical barrier to show that you have made every effort to prevent someone from causing themselves a mischief. For example, yellow safety chain in combination with this sign across a roller door entrance and stairways leading from unauthorized areas to discourage people that wouldn't be there in the first place from putting themselves in a dangerous situation. Housekeeping signs are great for designated smoking areas and please dispose of cigarettes properly. Manual handling signs are essential in the warehouse. How to lift correctly is probably one of the most popular signs. Also, weight labels for all dispatched items to help people identify how heavy a package is and the appropriate method required to lift it. If storage height is an issue, perhaps a step ladder or step is required. Ideally, items should not be stored above shoulder height. Lockout tagout is an essential part of maintenance, and we can supply not only the danger tags but the locks and accessories too. Some sites have specific sign requirements, so we will design custom signage to suit those needs when our standard wording doesn't quite meet your requirements. If you have some problem areas while conducting your audit, we can give you the name of one of our trusted distributors, or alternatively, please send us some more photos or a short video from your mobile phone of the problem area, and we will advise on the appropriate options.